Alrighty then, The Binding of Isaac Part 2. I've actually had a change of desktop background from last time, as you can see. Look, it's a pyro! Yeah, a subscriber actually made this for me, so thank you very much, man. I love <laughs> I really, really like this background. And let's just jump right into it. Steam, The Binding of Isaac. Funny story. Not so funny on my end. I actually did all of this yesterday. Got a full playthrough. I had all these cool items, the explanations just, you know, they flowed well. Everything was spot on. It was perfect. And no sooner had I hit F9 to stop the recording after about an hour, had I realized I was not recording my microphone. I felt like a total Isaac. idiot, as you can see. Uh, <laughs> it was just so perfect, I was gutted, and then I, uh, I ended up just playing Smite for the rest of the day. <laughs> Doesn't matter, we'll soldier on. Here's, uh, we, oh, I skipped the intro because, well, we covered all that in part one. If you haven't seen part one, yep, I show the intro, I cover all the, uh, the basics, as it were. And go through a little of the backstory as uh, well as much as I can because I don't even understand the story of this game myself whatsoever. So many multiple enders, I have no idea what's going on. Fun game though, that's what's important. And I we played as Isaac last time. We'll uh, what do we got? We got seven characters all together. So who's next up then? I was going to play as Kane. I actually did Kane yesterday, but we'll go in. Uh, we'll go in the order it's given here. So we had, we had Isaac last time. We'll go Magdalene. Alrighty, so. Magdalene compared to Isaac. What makes Magdalene different? That's, I thought it was lagging then. Okay, so Isaac started with three hearts. Magdalene starts with four, and she also has this... Uh, Isaac started with the, uh, what was it called, the D6, the dice. But uh, Magdalene doesn't have that. She has this thing, the yum heart. So when I click space, Magdalene will eat this yum heart and it'll replenish one of her lost hearts in case she takes a lot of damage. So as you can see, Magdalene, kind of tanky. She's meant to be taking a few hits here and there. To compensate for that, they've made her walk a little slower than they do with Isaac. Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah, she's definitely slower. I'm sure she is. Also, I think Isaac starts with a bomb, but uh, Maggie does not. She gets no coins, no bombs, no keys, no nothing. So we got the basement. We will go left. Oh, that was a great start. There we go. <laughs> Out of practice, as you can see. Yeah. Glad we're already at the item room. Alrighty. So what do we got? Hmm, that's lifesteal, I think. Charm of the Vampire, I think. When I deal some damage to enemies, or, yeah, kills heal, so when I start killing enemies, I'll replenish a little life. I think it's... For every 14 kills, which seems like a lot, actually. Because you only replenish half a heart with this thing. But this is a curse room. To walk in here, I'll have to take some damage because of the spikes on the wall. And the reward may, hopefully, will be worth it. There's a secret room there. The reason it's good with Maggie is because she can replenish her health with a yum heart. So, I'm going to do that now. Ooh, three flies. And a spirit heart. There we go. Lovely jubbly. That is the the Ankh. Yeah, the Ankh. So, the Ankh is... It says, like, eternal life, question mark? It's when you die... You come back to life, you resurrect as the blue baby. But the downside is, of course, as the blue baby, you only have three spirit hearts. So the Ankh may be not so desirable. It's kind of a second chance, if you like, but that ain't, that ain't much. That ain't much of a chance. I'm not going to fight the boss just yet. I'm going to take a look down here. That's a shop right there. Shop is almost always worthless on the first floor to me. It's very rare you'll actually find sufficient coins to uh, make it worthwhile. Not oh, the bloody penny. That's... Hmm. I have to say, I do like the Bloody Penny. The Bloody Penny is a trinket that when you... When you walk over hearts, there's a chance that coins will spawn, so... When you do it with, uh, Blood donation machines... Actually, what am I thinking of? In an arcade, the Bloody Penny is ridiculous. Now, this is a very tough first boss, a Headless Horseman. This is... Oh my goodness, this is one of the hardest bosses! <laughs> and you... You give him to You give him to me first. So, it's... It's not that their attack patterns are that difficult individually, but when you've got to concentrate on both at once, like this guy's relentlessly shooting red bombs at me, and then I've got to deal with this guy's either try shot or he's dashing across the screen. It's harder than you think. So I, I'm just gonna. F oh my goodness! I'm gonna focus fire this. Oh my goodness! I'm so bad. But I'm gonna focus fire the horse. And he's just shooting bombs everywhere. And I also can't step on that flashing red blood where the bombs land until it disappears. Because it hurts. Dude, I'm gonna die. I've only got one more shot left in me. This would be a miracle if I beat this guy. No! Oh, I thought it was gonna hit me then. Right, stay until that goes. <laughs> what an awful start. 
Luckily, the item you get for killing this guy is actually very, very nice. So, hopefully I can actually do this and not get killed. If I take one hit, game over. <laughs> I don't mind fighting this guy when I get some better upgrades, like more damage, faster movement speed. Like, Maggie's slow, man. <laughs> you need some good speed to, like, dodge this guy's attacks when combined with the horse shooting bombs. I can't believe I did that. Wow. That was a horrible fight, goodness. But we do get the pony. And the pony lets me fly, and it gives me more speed too, as someone who's Magdalene dearly, dearly needs. So we'll head right down. Fortunately, there are a lot of flying upgrades in this game, as of... Well, as of when they released Wrath of the Lamb DLC. So the pony will do until we find a passive one, and then I can get another spacebar item if I desire. Which I probably won't. Luckily now I can fly over rocks, and I can actually use them for protection if I wish. If uh, things get a little too heated. But I won't think I'll need to do that against these guys, they're not so difficult. <laughs> Moving a little too fast for my own video, I can't aim. And we got a key. Good, because I'll need that for the, uh, for the item room. And this is where the pony flight is going to come in handy. Because maneuvering against these guys who just travel across the room at high speeds, goodness me. <laughs> I was so concentrated so hard on that spider that the, uh, the regular leaps got me. You just saw there, I got a little life back from uh, killing one of those dudes, so... Hopefully it'll pay off. It just doesn't seem to pay out that often. Like, I, I'm pretty sure the number's 14. And that's a lot of kills. Come on, Dime Milligan. There we go. Another key. Not gonna fight the boss just yet because I am lacking in health. Alright, the pony. I'm gonna be saying this a lot, but... Flight comes in so handy in rooms like this, where all the enemies are just covered by rocks, man. Come on. Another half out there. Lovely. Oh, I got it the wrong way around, actually. I said with the bloody penny, uh, the, the bloody penny, when you step in a heart, it spawns a coin. It's the other way around. When you step in a coin, you have a chance of spawning a heart. Which is why blood donation machines can have some kind of infinite cycle with the bloody penny. Not sure whether they thought that through when they put the item in, but... Oh my goodness, it's a definitely one of those good get-rich-quick methods uh, in Binding of Isaac. It's a bomb. I should be checking for the secret room. Actually, I need to explain the uh, physics of the secret room to you. When, I, when the opportune moment arises, I think I'll go through it. But I've got a lot of flaws on the basement too, and I'm yet to find the item room or the shop. They must be in this next room. There we go, we're starting to replenish our life back now. The Yum Hearts, I mean, I wasn't expecting to give it up so soon, but the Pony's just too good to pass up, man. Especially early on as well. Oh, goodness. <laughs> the rocks are just blocking all my shots. I'll tell you what's good with uh, flying items, it's a Spectral item. A Spectral item means, uh, actually, gives you Spectral Tears. Let's you, let your tears fly through rocks. So, when you combine that with flights, you can sit behind the cover of a rock whilst sh still being able to shoot your enemy while he can't hit you. I'm getting a lot of keys. Hmm, that's cool. That is... It's an all-round speed item, I think. It increases your movement speed and your shot speed. Not your fire rate, but the the, uh, the speed at which your shots travel across the room. So see, they... They shoot a little faster. They travel uh, across the room a lot quicker. I have three keys, but I just don't have enough coins to even bother stepping in the shop. And Okay, the secret room, actually, I'm not going to explain it on this floor because I don't even know where it is. Because it's <laughs> proving to be a devious one for this floor. I guess I could work it out. I think it could be here. I'm not going to do it. I've only got one bomb. And it's too difficult to explain under these particular circumstances. Hopefully the next floor will be a little more generous with its secret room placement. Second boss is Monstro. Monstro's kind of easy. It's a, it's a superior Monstro too. I had a lot of problems with, but Monstro won, as it were. Not so difficult, except when he shoots these big burst of projectiles unexpectedly, like that. You've got to be quick on the move. Ah, excuse me, but fortunately I've got good movement speed, so I need not worry about this jet, this uh, this guy. What is he? 
Like, what is monster? Like, I, f I feel like all of the bosses in this game are some sort of disgusting body parts or, like, <laughs> illnesses or conditions or stuff stuff like that. What's monstro? He's just some kind of gigantic wart. <laughs> He's uh, certainly not too pretty to look at, anyway. Let's go straight down. Curse of the Labyrinth. Okay, Curse of the Labyrinth. So basically the Caves 1 and 2 have now become one large Caves floor, as represented by Caves XL. So, we are going to have one big floor. That also means we're going to have two item rooms, which is rather nice. Oh, I nearly got stuck on that treasure chest then. Goodness. Also, I'm very, very... <laughs> I'm going to say it again. Glad I've got flight for the caves. Oh my goodness! Right, that's Bloody Penny right there. I stepped on all those coins, and a whole bunch of hearts came out of nowhere. Bloody Penny's ridiculous. Another half heart. My... Jesus. But yeah, the, the thing about the caves and the uh, the catacombs, it's diff more difficult alternative, is there are so many gaps and chasms in the ground that make it difficult to uh, maneuver around. And some of the enemies, <laughs> they're difficult to dodge. You need all the space you can get. And look, if I didn't have flight, can you imagine me trying to dodge around this room like this? That would be very, very difficult whilst trying to shoot back. So flight is just, oh, it's a priceless upgrade. Now, before Wrath of the Lamb, there were only, I think, three flying upgrades? Maybe only two. I know there was Transcendence and Lord of the Pit. I really can't think of much more. Now, Wrath of the Lamb just threw in so many, but I think, <laughs> without all these flying upgrades, the uh, the alternative floors would be so difficult to uh, stay alive on. I'm really not concentrating. All right. This guy, if you go close to him... Actually, no, let me take that back. If you shoot him too much, he won't pop out of his shell. you got to give him a little break, and then he'll uh, feel confident enough to come out of his armor. And that's when you start shooting him, and i I got to start concentrating. Stop talking so much. Because I'm taking a lot of damage. Luckily, Bloody Penny has dropped a lot of hearts in the previous floors that I feel confident in my <laughs> ability to maintain maximum health. Down you go. Oh, there we go. That's a full heart. You know what would be nice is a blood donation machine right now. Oh my. Because not only are there a lot of hearts, I could certainly use some coins, and those coins will generate new hearts. The beauty of the bloody penny. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Ticking time bombs. There we go. One more. No, one more. There we go. Hmm. So pills, of course, random effects. They could be good, they could also be bad. It's a, it's a real risk. Mm, there's a lot of things in Binding of Isagar. We don't do it. Q. Hey, hey, pretty fly. I've got a nice guardian fly circling around me. And he is gonna... He'll absorb shots that land on him. He never dies, fortunately. He never dies. Yeah, I use a key because I got three keys back. <laughs> oh, maybe even four. I wasn't even keeping count of how many I had. There was a lot of keys. And that's a tinted rock. Yeah, sure, I'll blow it up. I might get a bomb back out of it. Nah, no, spirit hard, that's fine. Uh, we'll go in the shop. Yeah, we have enough keys. Oh, it's greed, of course. I wasn't expecting to get him in the caves so early. Actually, it's caves XL, so this is accounting for two cave floors. Which is a mighty shame. I was kind of hoping I'd be able to buy something like a compass. Oh, particularly for caves XL. I really don't want to take damage against this guy, but he's spawning such nasty enemies. All right. <laughs> uh, I, one of the unknown traits. Unknown traits. One of the things I didn't explain about the uh, the pony I'm riding is that if I hit spacebar, I can charge across the screen like those guys do against me. And uh, I damage any enemies in the way. Unfortunately, I'm an idiot and I missed everybody on my screen. And all three of them lined up as well, like Greed and two of his minions. <laughs> that would have been a nice time to uh, catch them with that pony dash. Come on. See, I'm focusing on the minions, but the thing is, when I kill his minions, he's just going to spawn new ones. Like that, instantly! I've got to focus greed and just dodge these hoppers. But at the same time, when I do that, they just... Ugh! God, I'm taking so much damage! Greed, why are you so nasty? I have no tier upgrades. I have... Ugh! No damage upgrades, no fire rate upgrades, no special effects, no triple shots, nothing. Dude, I need better damage, please. Give me something good. He's probably going to drop a lot of coins. Die, greed. There we go. <laughs> I'm not sure that was worth it, to be honest. It was eight cents, a nickel and three, uh, three pennies. Or three cents, if you will. But, as you can see, I stepped on a lot of coins and got a lot of hearts in the room. 
as a, as a return for it. Look at that. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Dear me. Okay then. Let's keep exploring. Hopefully I'll find items and more bombs. Just stay away from them. The cool thing is when they gather up and you get a chain reaction. One more on that bottom fly. This guy. There we go. Chain reaction two. Come on. Is he gonna blow up? Oh. 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 There we go. Lovely. Still no item. Dead end. Oh no, I knocked him into me. When you hit these guys, they just fly about everywhere. One. I should just take my time and stop spamming. Right. One. Two. There we go. Hey, a nickel. Nice. I'll go right. Oh, still no iron rooms anywhere. <laughs> With the uh, the XL maps, um, the key rooms like the iron room, boss room, shops, they're usually on the very outskirts. You rarely find. Oh goodness, you'll rarely find them kind of in the middle of the uh, the uh, the map. Come on, that's a champion. He's taking a lot of shots. Goodness, I think the. Uh, I was going to say that I think green ones means it represents that they have a lot of health. But I think the colours are different for different um, enemies, so... Yeah, I don't think their colour really means much. Oh, goodness. Although you can identify it on certain champion bosses, like... Um, I always know that the uh, if you fight Peep and he's yellow, he's going to be super fast. Actually, I might, be, I might even be wrong about that. <laughs> I'm talking on my ass. <laughs> I haven't played this game in such a long time to be able to make such a statement. Okay, that is a champion bo uh, champion challenge room or a boss challenge room. I can't go in there. It's represented by a sword and it's got blood on the end. That means it's a uh, boss room, a boss challenge room. So I can only go in there if I have one red heart or below. So <laughs> I don't think that's going to be happening anytime soon. Although if I deliberately take enough damage knowing that I've got all these hearts back here to put me straight back up when I come back out, uh, it could be worth doing. So hopefully I'll find like, some kind of uh, a sacrificial room uh, with the, the bloody spikes. And I will certainly uh, try my luck in that room of getting a chest. And I'll, when I'm done with that, I'll take it into the boss challenge room. It's just so many hearts. Goodness. Yeah. And that life steals well. It doesn't, uh, doesn't prog very often, but when it does... It's usually useless because I'm a full health like that. <laughs> Still no item room, my goodness. These guys, they are called Globins. They're playing the word hemoglobin, I'm sure, because when you melt them down to that, they come back up. Globins, something to do with blood. I don't know, most of the enemies in this game, like I say, have something to do with uh, the human anatomy and uh, blood and organs and all that tasty stuff. Nope, still no item room, but we have found the boss room. At least we've kind of narrowed it down now. Alright, double flies. Do enough damage to these big double flies, they split into two flies. I uh, don't want to fight the boss yet, to be honest. I... Hmm... I'm not sure, actually, because... Maybe we'll get a deal with the devil. Huh. I just realized we'll have two bosses. Caves XL gives you, uh, well, XL maps in general give you two bosses. I uh, forgot to mention, uh, in addition to two iron rooms, but only one shop, unfortunately. <laughs> I feel like that would just take so many keys if they had all these shops and item rooms and maybe like libraries on top and stuff like that. These guys are kind of difficult to hit because they shoot in all four directions, so you have to go within their, uh, you kind of have to go in their line of sight to be able to get a shot on them, whether it's horizontally or vertically. But when they're restricted by chasms like that, you can pick them up fairly easy, you, you pick the fight yourself. These guys are just gonna spawn multiple flies for me, come on. Bring it on there. They can take anything you throw at me, buddy. Yeah, more health. Hey, an iron room at last. There we go. Happy days. Would love some kind of damage, or tears up, or an effect, anything. Anything to make my tears a little more worthwhile. 
And not a cat of nine tails. I don't mean shot speed. I've already got some of that from the speedball. <laughs> Alright, we're going straight in. We've got... Little Ch... Oh my goodness. <laughs> Guess what Little Chad does? He gives you hearts! I don't need hearts! Come on! I've got enough hearts with my bloody penny and my charm of the vampire. Not to mention our Maggie, dude. Maggie's all about hearts. Give me a break. <laughs> well, the curse chest is going to give us... Go, Guppy's paw. No, thank you. <laughs> Guppy's paw's a strange one. It's kind of like a deal with the devil thing, except you know what you're getting. So, uh, Guppy's paw will take off one of your hearts permanently, and it'll replace it with three spirit hearts. In my opinion, I don't really like it that much, unless you have an ass ton of hearts to spare. So, ooh, a dime. Now I think about it, maybe I'm very stupid and uh, the dime I got, no, no, the nickel I got against uh, Greed was actually a dime. I wasn't actually looking properly. Oh, PhD is a beauty. Lovely. Alrighty then. Right, if you'll excuse me a moment, my phone is actually ringing. One second. Okay, my apologies. I have returned. Where were we? Oh, oh, I was about to say, let's go get the next item room. This was the next item room. God damn it, I had PhD at least. That's a beastly item. So PhD, need to explain. PhD will identify your pills, and you'll never have negative ones. You'll always have positive ones. Not sure if you can get neutral ones, such as bad gas, bombs are key, telepills. Can't remember, I'm afraid. But I do know that you're never, ever going to have to worry about tears down, health down, bad trip, or any of that shh. Sugar. Uh, I was gonna say shit. Who am I kidding? Any of that shit. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? I ain't centering myself. <laughs> oh man, these guys take so many hits. Like these guys, they go down fast when you have good damage and tears up, but uh, it's like when you take one down, the next one runs in and shields him before you can finish off the ooze. Get out of here with that. Alrighty, down we go. The hives. The hives, they simply just spawn flies. You can actually walk I can walk into these guys and not take damage. Whee! Oh god, I can take damage if they spit at me. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> He just chucked a fly in my face. Thanks, mate. I was trying to give you a trying to give you a bro hug. Like a bro. Guess not then. <laughs> Nobody wants to play with me. Alrighty, we've got a heart. Well it looks like I'm not gonna be going in this boss challenge room, unfortunately. You know. I'll try my luck. Secret room. Nah. <laughs> it was a long shot, I know. The Excel floor, but... Never mind, never mind. We'll go take on the boss... The bosses. Because there are going to be two. First one's going to be... Pestilence. Thanks, mate. You just spat a bomb right at the door. Thanks for giving me a chance. Now, normally I wouldn't be able to walk on this uh, poisonous uh, creep, as they call it, on the floor. Fortunately... I have the gift of flight, it's so useful! Oh my goodness. Spit some more bombs, bro. And kill your own worms. You silly man. Yeah, that's what you get. Oh, he spawned three. Dude, please. It takes me so long. It's so much easier to just let Pestilence kill the, the, uh, the, fly the flies, the worms, for me. Because my damage is so shitey right now. Goodness. Get out of here with your worms, Pestilence! Yeah! Uh, uh, uh. He's got four on the go here. Ow. I flew right into that worm. Come on. Look how much damage I'm not doing. Right, okay. So now that, he, now that I've taken off his head, it seems, his disgusting head, he simply spawns flies as opposed to worms, but he does still shoot the bombs. Oh, get out of here. I've lost a lot of health against this guy. Do you know, it might be worth deliberately taking two more hearts of damage just to go to that challenge room. So I'll get him down to super low health and then I'll uh, confirm the kill. Okay, come on, hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me! Harder, hit me, come on! What do you got? Hit me! No, my, there we go. Now I'll kill him. No, 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 I'll kill him. I'll kill the flies. No! The fly died. Ow. God damn it. I, I need one more little bit of damage. Well, that was dumb, because now I need to go into the next boss room to be able to take damage. I'm so stupid. 
If you're not sure what I'm doing, like I said, I'm trying to get myself down to one heart so I can enter this room here. Oh, I feel so stupid. I'm actually gonna take this heart and go in here with just two hearts and bank on myself killing this guy. I'm confident. Please don't be bl like... Oh, it's fistula. That's fine. That's, that's perfectly fine. Come on, fistula. What you got, bro? You don't scare me. You do slightly scare me when there are a lot of rocks in the way. It makes you a little difficult to shoot. So Fischler simply breaks up into multiple pieces. Actually, you know what, Fischler, you don't scare me because I can hide behind rocks. Dude, stop charging me. There we go. <laughs> yeah, he simply he's just one big rock. It's like asteroids, basically, with Fischler. Except, uh, think of asteroids, but he spawns worms when he dies. <laughs> Come on. Uh, we'll get it down to the last piece, and then I'll just start walking into it deliberately. Hopefully that'll work out. Come on. Ah, uh, takes more damage. And one more. There we go, right, that's enough damage. Uh, just kill this guy now. Please don't kill me! Oh, no, I life stole. I know, I life stole. There we go. <laughs> Stupid charm of the vampire. Okay, I'm gonna leave that all there for now. Just stay right there. I'll be right there. Okay. I'm being very, very overconfident, perhaps, taking on the boss challenge room now. Well, it's a HP up, it'll give us a bit of a fighting chance. Worth it in the long run, considering the amount of hearts we have. And, plus, it's only going to be Monstro and Larry Jr., I assume. Come here, son, what you got? <laughs> I am not going to beat the game if I don't get any upgrades. I'm going into the depths, possibly Necropolis, with no extra damage or fire rates on my attacks. Ugh. The only other form of attack I have is this pony, and that's so unreliable. I think you take damage while in flight if you, like, mess it up. Actually, no, you're immune to damage in flight, but, I mean, when you land at the wall, I mean, they, they could just you'd probably land and stop on them. <laughs> so risky. Oh, pretty flight, just saving it. Alright, Larry Jr. You're just a series of worms. You're easy enough. The trick with Larry Jr. is to shoot him in his abdomen, in his, in his uh, body parts, as opposed to his head, because I think he takes more damage. Well, this has proven to be very, very tricky, because he's only got one piece to each head. Ugh, there we go, that's one down. Ah, I'm just going to shoot him in the head. It's better than just missing every shot repeatedly. Please don't kill me, Larry. Come on, Larry, I don't want to die to you. I'm pretty sure you've never killed me before. I'm pretty sure you've never killed anybody before. You're not a threat. There we go, a coin. And a bloody penny heart, lovely. Oh, I'll get a couple of hearts from in here. How many here? Oh, there we go, that should be. <laughs> That's enough to see us down to the next floor, I think. Let's go. Oh, look at my coins, goodness, I have 50 coins. I'll tell you what I'd love to find right now is a beggar. Because I have got some gifts for him. I just walked past a whole bunch of hearts. I think it's a full heart up here. And a health upgrade. Yeah, there is. Here we go. Back up to full. Seven hearts. Deal with the devil, man. Magdalene. That's what. That's where she shines, man. I need a deal with the devil. That'll definitely give me some good uh, damage upgrades and whatnot. <laughs> I'm going into the necropolis like this. This is ridiculous. Ah, no, the spiky trap, I forgot. Ah! Jesus, this is why I don't like Necropolis. Come on, stay down. Ugh. Ugh. All right, I can shoot him from here, can I? Oh, he's just outranging me. No, he's not. Ah, but the red thing's gonna shoot me. Stop shoot. Ah, spiky trap, just missed. Ah, <laughs> this is so difficult. Ah! Oh. No, it knocked me into the back. Oh, you are kidding me. It knocked me into the previous room and reset the whole damn thing. Oh, you are kidding me. This is an outrage. I, you know what? I'd love to just drop a bomb in the middle of these things. Can I hit him from here? No, nope, because the spike trap blocks the shots. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna, you know what, I have to. Drop a bomb. Yeah, that's what you get. Whew. Dude, the blue spike traps are just not forgiving whatsoever. Ah, see, it's painful to open chests. Well, oh, bloody pennies paid that back for me. Although it did cost me a bomb to get in there. <laughs> These things, they just fire so fast. Lifesteal. 
Always life stealing when I'm at full health. Traditional charm of the vampire trait, that. Goodness. <laughs> oh, I know what I could have done. I could use my pony. I need to start actually realizing that the pony can be used as an offensive weapon. Oh. Do you know? I think the I think the official name for these. I'm not going to say the official name for these things. It's not pleasant. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the game calls these things buttlickers. For and you'll get a better demonstration of why if I find more in the future, when you find them in a whole Congo line. <laughs> these things are just like a. They're like a less glorified version of Larry Jr. They're just... In fact, they're more difficult than Larry Jr. They just have less health, but they move faster. And they split up as well when you take off one piece. And look at the predicament I'm in here. This is a very disgusting room. A headless horseman... Ugh, he'll charge into a spike trap, and he took damage. Yes! What you get, son? <laughs> oh, this is a not-so-nice room. Outrange him. Outrange him. Outrange him. Ugh. You've got to learn to make them shoot in one direction and then just attack them from their blind side. Like that. Also, what do these things look like to you? You know, I've said these things look like body parts and organs. <laughs> I'll let you work out for yourself what they look like. <laughs> Goodness. This game. This game is freaky. I love it. Now that one gave me back a key and a bunch of bombs. And I can also hit up that challenger now that I have full health. You see that room up there that I bypassed earlier? With the sword, it was locked. Now this one does not have blood on the tip. That means it's just a regular challenger room. And to get in there, I need to have full health. Now this could be very, very cruel if I go back here and the spike trap takes off my health. Don't do it, spike trap. I'm going to trick him. Lure him out that way and go above him. There we go, lovely. And yeah, why not? That's why not. It's just a bomb. And these enemies are not pretty. <laughs> these things are called cherubs. And they're just... They're fetuses, man. It's, oh, they sound so... Yeah. That excruciating screech. Goodness. <laughs> when I first discovered these enemies on my first, uh, my first time playing through the depths, I hated them. With a passion. Oh, they were the worst things ever. They were worse than those, like, high leapers, the bloody ones. Like, the, like the bloody version of these guys. Wow, oh, they were, they're even worse. Ugh. The Depths just has so many uh, startling enemies to be coming up against. These guys, I was, I was never too bothered by these guys, the knights. Shoot them in the brain. You kind of, you work out their movement pattern. You kind of realize that when they're walking slowly, that's when they'll take a charge against you, like that. So, and then when they speed up, it's when they're in a, a full speed dart and they're not going to change direction. So, you kind of get a feel for how to uh, kite them and stuff. Oh shit, that was dumb. Took my speed for granted there, I thought I was faster than what I actually was. Uh. <laughs> you need to make him turn on a horizontal, not a, not a vertical. Because then you get more room to work with, uh, like, they travel in the same direction for longer because it's the width, of course. It's a wider space from the cover, so you get more shooting time, like this. There we go. Let them go lengthways. And I want to keep going left, actually. Ah! Oh, that one hit me. Come on. Let me get two hearts to get it back, anyway. Ugh! Champion! Oh, my goodness! I thought it was... I didn't think they were going to have the big lasers. So you make them shoot in one direction. This is risky! This is risky! Oh, that was so close! All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. These things, they take some hits, man. They can sponge the damage. <laughs> now, especially this one, he's a tough one. There we go. <laughs> and that is why they are called buttlickers. All right. I did not call them that. That is, I'm sure that's the official wiki name for them. <laughs> Ugh. Man, these things take some hits. They really are better than... They're just more dangerous than Larry Jr. I swear. Larry Jr. is just so predictable. Righty. Let's go to the item room. Ooh! Oh, this is so tricky! Because... Hmm... 
So this is the D6, the dice. This is the item that Isaac starts with. It lets you re-roll spacebar items. So if I was to swap my pony for this and hit space, my pony would change. Now, the thing is, I like the pony. I love the flight, and you can see the flight has done... Like, if I didn't have flight, I probably would have died already, and this playthrough would not even be... Uh, <laughs> we wouldn't be where we are. Because... Ugh, there's so much danger to dodge. I'm going to stick with the uh, the pony for now. Should I happen to come across a passive flying item in this floor, I will definitely take that D6, though. Let the green bombs hit this dude. Ah, 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 ah. No, not me. Hit this hangman dude. Will you stop going for me? Oh, my. That scared me. Oh, my goodness. That's so fortunate. Two secret rooms next to each other, and I didn't even have to plant any bombs. Hmm. Well, then. I think we're going to go in this one first. Hmm. Bloody Penny's been more useful. That is a trinket called the Ace of Spades. The Ace of Spades causes more tarot cards and playing cards to drop. Personally, I think the Bloody Penny is much more worth it. Given my current situation, once we get back to full health in this room. <laughs> the Bloody Penny is ridiculous. Because uh, there's so many conditions where you'll just get coins and hard arcade like wait I, I don't think I'll show I don't think I'll abuse the arcade as much as I possibly could just for the sake of <laughs> not making this like another hour long episode but god if you are willing to put the time in getting a bloody penny and going in the arcade is, oh, you are set for the entire game then it's some other like amazing combos too like you have the nun's habit and the D20 with it. Oh, man. All these ridiculous item combos that were introduced with Wrath of the Lamb. Chain reaction. Thank you, Green Bomb guy. If you want to just get this guy too, that'd be lovely. Thank you very much. You've been... You've been a, a good servant for me, Green Turret. You unveiled two secret rooms for me, and you've killed my enemies off. Much appreciated. I think Greed's going to be near again. Nah. I'm very, very glad about that. It would have been very cruel if you were... Look how much cash I have. I haven't spent anything in shops. I'm gonna, I'm, the lad is worthless because I have flight. But I'm going to take a key. And you know what? With all these hearts out here, why not go in a curse room? Oh, it's an epic troll bomb! That's why not. Whew, let's get out of there while we can. Ah! I almost forgot about spike traps. Ooh! Okay. So, <laughs> these big fuzzy guys, they're just skulls covered in a big hive of flies. You simply need to hit them repeatedly, but when you do that, they spawn more flies. Ugh. And look at that. Clean shave. <laughs> oh, we turned into a bomb fly. Oh, oh, no, don't, 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 don't hit him. No, don't hit him there. I need to time it so that he's with the enemy. There we go. That was perfect. Not only did we kill the middle hive, but we... Ah! We gave him a clean shave. Alrighty. Come on. Dude, imagine having your face covered in flies like that. Jesus Christ. Also, uh, interesting thing about me. I am terrified, right? My phobia, insects. Particularly flying ones. I am scared of, like, flies and wasps and bees. But <laughs> insects in general, man. Oh, my goodness. That is my phobia. That is my irrational fear. I learned this game, of course. I'm not like, oh my god, there's flies in this room, I can't play this game. Nah. But if, trust me, if a wasp was behind me right now, I would not. I would, like, dart out of the room. <laughs> oh, goodness. Ah, oh, it's a dead end. Dude, I should just bomb my way. Actually, I'm going to use my pony. Whee! Well, that did nothing. Dude, the pony charge sucks. <laughs> the reason I never use this damn thing. Come on, die, you bastards. These things have guardian flies, by the way, so some of my shots are getting... Um, absorbed by this white fly surrounding him. A slight pain in the neck. Come on, die, you bastard. There we go. Gotcha. Alrighty. So, oh, that was the whole floor. Okay. I didn't even realize. I thought, <laughs> I thought the Necropolis one was going to be bigger than this, but uh, I guess not. We'll go back to the boss room now. Ah! Dude, I always forget about those damn things. All the way back. I'll tell you what I will... I'll tell you what I will do, actually, is uh, fight the boss. And if I don't like the dude's item, what I can do is... 
flip his item with his d6. Although, if a deal with the devil comes... Actually, what I'm going to do... I'm not going to use the pony to fight. I'm just going to go in like this. So that if a deal with the... Oh, I regret this already. Ah! He spawns right next to me! So the Carrion Queen... I... <laughs> the Carrion Queen darts at you like Chub does, but... Um, spawns this acidic poop. And if I step on that, it'll burn. Now, not only that, when I kill it, it respawns uh, eventually. It'll just come back up. Either that or she shits out new ones. <laughs> yeah, it, um, it refreshes itself. Oh, refreshing poop, lovely. Great. <laughs> it's so difficult to shoot, you can only hit her in the very tail end. The Carrion Queen is not a nice enemy to be fighting. Again, I've had no upgrades to my tears. It's painful. Painful. Ah, see, I stepped in it and then it burns. Ah, I stepped in it again. I'm so stupid. Come here, Carrion Queen. What you got? What you got? <laughs> My damage is embarrassing. Do you know in the playthrough I yesterday that I talked about... Oh, no! She bit me. Bitch. In the playthrough I did yesterday, I had the most beasty item ever. You know, Mum's Knife. The most. I, I think that's the most damaging item in the whole game. So, going from that and then... Ah! Going, to, going from that to this. Oh, my days. <laughs> it's a real change, I have to say. Right. When I do enough damage to the Carrying Queen, she starts going in diagonals. Like that! And I think she's easier in this form because she's not... She's not charging at me, like... She's not going out of her way to go in my particular direction. She's going in diagonals like a... Uh, what am I trying to think of? Like a, uh, a Pong ball, maybe. I don't know. But it basically means that I can... I can prepare to hit her... Uh, in her weak spots... Uh, a little easier. I, I, he says as he, you know, hits the armor uh, with about 50 successive shots. Die, Carrying Queen. Goodness. You're so tanky. Come on. Ah! Come on! There we go. Whew. Well then. <laughs> so I'm not going to D6 this item. It's a magic 8 ball and it's a tier upgrade. So I have to take it. And a playing card. Two of spades. Two of spades doubles my keys. That's pretty useful. Alrighty. Let's get my pony back. Oh my goodness. I'll take that half heart. There are more hearts. Hats. More hearts back in the... Uh, around this area, but... I don't know. I'm, I'm going to go down what I got. I can't be arsed making the trip. <laughs> right, Necropolis 2. Great. Lovely. Well, at least I know what boss I'm going to be fighting anyway. It's not going to be bloat. It's going to be... Mom! It's going to be Mum. Oh, Pony Dash would be so useful right now, wouldn't it? Hangman. You know all about Pony Dash and the Hangman. <laughs> Absolutely no avail. Come on, down you go. These things take some hits. Speaking of uh, tanky enemies, these greed heads. Probably my least favorite enemies in the whole game since Wrath of the Lamb came out. Because they just hop around so much, and they're usually in groups. Like, you'll walk into some places on the caves, like, actually, the catacombs, and there could be four in a room that's difficult to maneuver around, and they take so many hits, and they just shoot you relentlessly. So that justice card spawn one of each basic item, a key, a coin, a bomb, and a heart, and it gives you different variants, so it's not necessarily a straight-up heart, a straight-up uh, key, a straight-up bomb or anything. It could be a half heart. It could be a spirit heart. <sighs> Excuse me, why am I so tired? Excuse me. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. Uh, it could be... Um, uh, it could be variants of coins. It could be a nickel. It could be a dime. It could be a troll bomb. <laughs> but, um... Oh my goodness. Dude, these masks. To kill these masks, you have to hit the hearts. Oh, <laughs> The hearts are hiding, and I need to take cover behind the rocks because the masks are dashing me relentlessly. I need to concentrate because I, I'm clearly quite bad at this game. Ugh, look at them. They're all clustered up. It's not giving me any breathing space. Dude, get out of here. There we go. That's one down. Dude, I don't <laughs> I don't even care. Come on. <laughs> and if you go too close to the hearts, they shoot you. <laughs> Talk about mean enemies. Oh, God. It's just hiding behind these rocks. And if I go in close and distance of them, the masks close in on me. And then the hearts shoot me. 
This is so mean. Stop shooting me, please. Come on. I've been in this room for like two minutes. <laughs> oh my god! Will you get off me? For the love of all that is holy. There we go. Oh, but I don't need a drink after that. Once again, opted for Pepsi because I am the Pepsi addict. Oh, at least I got two hearts out of that. Jesus. And six green bomb guys. This is a joke. This is a mean, mean joke. I don't, I don't like jokes. Not like this one. Dude, my lack of damage is horrifying. They blew up the door for me, but I feel like I'm gonna have to come back, so I need to clear this room. Dude, I could just bomb these guys. There are so many, I'm, I'm guaranteed to get at least like three, surely. <laughs> two at the, two at the absolute minimum. Oh, I'm doing it, bomb. Take it, take the bomb, yeah! I was gonna only get two and then they knocked it into three of them for me, so. I appreciate your kindness, Mr. Green Bomb, guys. Whew, something that's not quite as difficult. Hopefully the green turret will be my friend and kill my enemies. Do it, do it, do it, do it. It got all four with one shot. And... Oh, look at it! These Green Bomb guys are Samaritans. Good Samaritans. Yeah, there we go. Do it again. Ah. <laughs> I'm just setting myself up for death doing that. <laughs> yeah, I'll mark targets. Also... I'm gonna take damage as a result. Oh my goodness. So my tanky Magdalene has gone from <laughs> sevenfold. Oh my! I wasn't even looking there, I was looking at my heart count. I'm down to one and a half hearts. Dude, I could die instantly. Right, I tell you what, I need to get in this arcade. I need to abuse my bloody penny a little bit for some health. Oh my. Ow! Oh my god. One more hit and I'm dead. I'm... I need to watch where they are shooting. Die, 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 die. I need some breathing space on this side of the room. Please, please, thank you. Having all three in the same place is not necessarily the worst thing in the world right now. Yes, Charm of the Vampire. Now you are... You have to prove your worth. I feel like that thing hasn't procced in so long. Whew, right then. Um, so I'm just going to blow this up because I have so much cash that... Yeah. I got one heart from it, okay. Shell guy, take my cash, please. A uh, heart, perfect. Give me the heart. Nope, you gave me a fly. Well, screw you two. Give me the coin, that could that could spawn a heart. There we go, right. Oh, dude! What are you doing to me? Blue, blue pill. Hmm. Go left again. Oh, dude! I'll take the pill, actually. Health up! Oh, that's pretty useful. It's a shame I've got no hearts to fill these containers. I'm going to play till I get to 70 cents. Because I don't like staying in the arcade too long. And I am yet to win anything. There we go. Two bombs. Give me... <laughs> He's just giving me incentive to put a bomb on him. Dude, I will blow... If you give me bombs, I will blow you up, dude. I need health. <laughs> don't make me bomb your ass. Try my patience, bro. You've got two more cents and your time is up. I don't need keys. <laughs> he recognizes that instead. Doesn't give me a key. Oh, dude, you've, you have had it. I'm going to see if I win keys. Nope, I didn't. Dude, get out of here. Taste the bomb. Yeah, I should have done that from the start. Bloody penny did not proc. Oh, I'm disappointed. Okay, you know what? We are going to... I really think I'm going to lose on this floor. I think mum is going to kill me because I just don't do enough damage. I've had a Tears Up upgrade, that's it. Alright, hearts and masks. I was gonna bomb you, I'm gonna bomb you, and you're gonna taste the bomb. I should have done that from the start on the last floor. I lost so much health. <laughs> Get out of here. Ooh, you know the secret room could be here. Nope, I am such an idiot for doing that. I need to stop jumping the gun. I'm just, I need secret rooms. I need everything I can get right now. I need items. I need health. I need coins even. Like a secret room full of like nine coins. Oh man, that would be so nice right now. Because that would at least guarantee me... Pfft, I'd probably get like five hearts at least from that. The feeling when you have Bloody Penny. You walk into a secret room and see nine coins. is, is Oh, gimme, gimme, gimme. 
Because you know you're just going to get a shitload. And I need to bomb these guys too. Ah. Oh, this might not be... Might not have been the best decision of my life. Pro... Come on, kill that bomb fly. Die. No. Get close to this guy so I can... Detonate you all. No. You know what? I want to take that. No. No. I missed everybody. One, two, three, four. I think I hit him four times. Five, six. Half heart. It'll do. It's better than nothing. Oh, goodness. See, I'm expending my bombs, too. Like, way too much. I'm just wasting them. Where's the item I'm going to be? I'm still yet to find it. And the shop. I bet Greed is in the shop. I bet it's Super Greed. And then he'll annihilate me. I don't think I'm going to be last in too long here. No! Yes! There. Thank you, Bloody Penny. Item room. Thank you so much. Green Bomb, guys. Do me a favor. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. No, you missed everybody. You're useless. He took a Green Bomb. Dude. That is one beefy fly. No, no. Ah, what am I doing? I was trying to avoid the bombs. I would just walked into the fly instead. There we go. Thank you, green turrets. And the secret room. No, it's greed. I'm not even going to bother. Do you know, I take him on hope in, in the hopes that he would drop a lot of coins. But I could die against him. Mr. Mega. My blast damage on my bombs has increased. Really? I, I couldn't have got a worse run of items. <laughs> uh, what have I had? Actually, PhD and the Pony have been the only good ones. Little Chad, I mean... <laughs> ironically, earlier I was complaining. I'm getting too many hearts. Now I just need heart. Now I need as many as I can take. Oh, more of these guys. Goodness. Like, they're not difficult. It's just that I don't do enough damage to kill off their flies. Get out of here! Look at that, I'm being cornered in by these blinky red flies. I'm in the necropolis too, for goodness sake. No, no, get out of here, get out of here with you. Get out of here! So many bullets! I need to detonate this fly. I need to detonate this fly in the midst of everybody. Eliminate the threat. No, I detonated him on me! Dude, this run couldn't be any worse. Oh, man. Where did I get to last time? I got to the very end of the Isaac fight and died. And I forgot to cast my Book of Shadows. No, 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 my Book of Shadows. I did cast my Book of Shadows. I don't even know what I'm talking about. It was my Sun card, yeah. I forgot to cast my Sun card, man. When you're playing and, when you're playing and recording, you just... <laughs> you just... You just, you, have to, you just lose all your concentration. Like, I watch other people's Binding of Isaac videos, and, like, and it's like they miss obvious things. But then, now I understand why they do. It's because... You just have more stuff to focus on. You forget you have, like, sun cards and whatnot. Oh my god, I'm on one heart! I just... I just epitomizes everything I've been talking about. I am on one heart. If I take one hit of damage, I'm dead. Oh my good gravy, I nearly took it right there. I need to kill off these big flies. I need to kill off these big, big flies. Get out of here, red flies. Oh, oh my dear god! Oh my dear god! Oh my dear god! <laughs> Get out of here! No, he spawned a shooter fly! Get out of here, I need to kill the shooter. No, he spawned another shooter! They're not even called it. Ah, no! <clears throat> I'll remain my compa- Okay, I had the ank. What is going on? So basically, remember that ank I picked up earlier? It resurrected me as Blue Baby and I have three spirit hearts. Oh, God. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to try a pony charge. Because why not? And I did it the wrong way. Like, I I was thinking, nope, the angle's gone, so I'll try and move up here. Nope, that just charged me in that direction. I don't like the pony mechanics. I'll just plant a bomb in the middle of them all. Mr. Mega, do your thing. Yeah! That didn't do much. Oh my goodness, I need to detonate him. But there's just so many flies getting in the way. Get out of here, get out of here, go, 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 go. Detonate. Detonate him, go, yes. That's good, that's a good one, that was a good one. Pretty much give him a clean shave. Get out of here with that, detonate. Come on, for all the fly shot. Whew. Ugh, quit with the flies, damn it. 
Dude, where's the brimstones? Where's the mum's knives? Where's the doctor fetus? Where's the epic fetus? <laughs> for those who don't know these items, you must think I'm absolutely insane for the words I'm producing right now. But trust me, these are real things in this game. And trust me, they are amazing. <laughs> doctor fetus. <laughs> Oh, it's a golden poop! <laughs> you never see a golden poop. You never see it. I need to kill this cocoon before it, like, grows big again. Oh, oh, guess what? That's Blue Baby. You can't pick up red hearts. So, little Chad, my bloody penny, all worthless. All these pennies I'm about to get from... Look at all these hearts I'm getting. Like, I'm not, be not going to be able to pick any of these things up. Oh, this run is insanely unfortunate. And I walked into a laser. Right, need them all to cool down and look in the same direction. Right, there we go. No, I, I did double firing laser. Dude, what is really doing to me? <laughs> Leave me alone. Die, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> You know what? If I beat Mum, I'll consider this a success, okay? Because this is a disaster. I am not even at the boss room. I haven't found the boss room yet. And I have one spirit heart. That is it. Oh, goodness. So I have the strength card. I'll take that into the boss fight. I'll cast my two spades now. It gives me... It doubles my key. So I had five and I got ten. Go in the shop. Hey, a spirit heart on sale. And I'll take a steam sale, because why not? I have all this cash. Spirit hearts. You've effectively doubled my life expectancy, as it were. This is an absolute calamity. Tragedy. I, I'm trying to think of all all these words that... that is, are like synonyms of disaster. Because that is exactly what this is. Oh, yes! I've doubled my tally again! Oh, there we go. You never see these brain... No, they're not even brains, they're like intestines. You never see these intestines on the necropolis. It, like, and you see these little roly ones, but you don't see like the big man-sized ones. <laughs> man-sized. What the hell am I talking about? No, there's... I'm getting... Getting deceived by all the rocks he's wrong. Right, find the boss room. Let's just go for it. Four spirit hearts. What do you got, mum? Come on. Why are all the doors blue? It's a champion, Mum! I've never seen this before! This is a new one on me! Oh, I'm so scared. What's she gonna do? She just probably has more health. That's exactly what I need, and I do not- She spawns green heads! This is ridiculous! I've never seen anything like this! I'm so sorry for my, like, screaming right now, but oh my good gravy! This is appalling! She spawns green heads! Green heads are my least favourite! She spawns just double spiders and- what the is- what is this? I'm dead. I'm- strength card. I forgot, right. Oh my dear lord. This is appalling. <laughs> I'm a champion mum. I can't believe it. Shit, it's been a long time since I played this game. When was this update? Oh, has it always been like this? I've just never seen it before because it's such a rarity. Oh man. <laughs> I, I <laughs> what a disaster of a run, dude! I couldn't go with items. Well then, <laughs> what did I get? I mean, the only good things I had, besides like HP upgrades, would PhD and bloody penny. Ugh. So, that was episode 2 of The Binding of Isaac. An absolute calamity, as it were. Can't believe it. I get... Ah, oh. oh, man, I need a drink after that. So, <laughs> hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and I guess I'll see you in episode 3. Goodbye for now.